so we're back again we're gonna go to the website we're gonna download the classic 99 apparently they made an upgrade to this program because when you bring up the Wilhelm's compiler it says 2018 you can see where I go where I click on the link in the lower left hand corner you're gonna see it download to my computer and then when it's done we're gonna head over to the download folder and pick it up this is the main byte website Alright, now that it's downloaded, as you can see here in the downloads, there's my zip file. I'm going to take my zip file and put it in my application 01 folder. And I'm going to extract it. It's going to ask me where to extract to. Now it's extracting. So the Xbox game video recorder will not record windows like this. So I have to do this in slides. So we're going to go to the folder and this is what gets extracted. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the Classic 99 icon and you're going to see here that it just brings up basic because we have to go up in the upper left hand menu and select the cartridge. So we'll go cartridge, apps, extended basic, and then it's going to ask you to reset. Alright, press 2 for extended basic, and you're going to see extended basic just comes right up. Now we're going to go into the contributors folder. You're going to pick the Harry Wilhelm fo folder. Now this is different than the one I had. It's got an Isabella folder. We're going to open that one up. Grab all those files there and we're going to copy them. We're going to go over the disk one file and then you're going to paste them in there just like that. Now that they're pasted in there we're starting the program once again. So you select number two for extended basic. And this new menu comes up. Use your arrow keys to move the arrow up and down and press enter with your selection. So we're going to do extended basic. For some reason, some extra stuff comes up. It looks a little different than mine. So I use that. I pasted in from my clipboard a program similar to the curtain program except for I made it vertical this time rather than horizontal. And we're showing it in normal CPU and there I just throttled it to overdrive to give you an idea how fast it's going. So we're done with the program. And we're going to go ahead and save it to the disk drive number two. Now we're going to do that save merge command that we did last time. With the don't forget the dash m extension, comma merge. Let's go ahead and reset it. title screen 2 for extended basic and we're going to move down to the compiler now they actually autofill see how it says the will 
Harry Wilhelm 2018 so this is different than the one that I've been working with and so I'm just gonna stick with what I know and we're gonna put the dash M in this slot and then they use a dot dat txt I'm not sure what that is but I'm going to do what I did before and just make it a source file no yes Yes. So once again, all this is in real time. We're going to open up the assembler. Now this is going to look very different than the one before. So it already has everything filled out. This S extension, the source file extension, the object extension. They even have the C removed. And you press enter. Now there's nothing wrong with taking your CPU throttle and putting it to overdrive. It does the exact same thing. It's not going to hurt anything. I have it in normal, so we're going to have to sit here and wait. All right, zero errors, and we just press enter. Now we're going to enter the loader. I don't know what this is, but it says most programs, so I use the 24K RAM. I probably use the 32 because I write very large files. Once again, it gives us a different extension so I'm just gonna put the one that we made in the assembler and it takes it just fine not sure what this is but I go ahead and do it And instead of the extension Charlie, they got extension X-Ray. So we're going to go with it. What made me curious is there's no quotes and it goes straight to run. So when I, I'm going to go ahead and press enter on the run. There you can see that it's been compiled and it's running rapidly. So, just as a backup, I'm going to save it as something different. I'll just call it dsk2.cs2, make it quick. Okay, reset. We're going to try running that X extension file. So, I'm choosing extended basic. It comes up with this. Once again, the good old Alt 3. Coffee! As you see, the file works after it's been compiled. I'm going to run it again with the throttle on overdrive just to show you how much faster this thing can get. It's done. So the next slide will be the folder 
in disk two. It'll show you all the files that you have in your folder. It'll have the source, the object, the original, the compiled with the dash X, and of course that CS2 that I saved. So here you want to get rid of the object, the source, and the merge file. They won't do you any good. Keep the dash X and keep the original, the extended basic version, just in case you have to have delays. Now I'm throwing in here, once again, the 10 rules for future compiling, that all your numbers have to be integers in that range. Your R&D statements also have to be integers. The four next loops will be very, very short. It counts super fast, but the call sound statements, when you put the time in there, it remains as if it was an extended basic. If then statements, have to have uh, line numbers, cannot have the, anything else. No nested arrays, no user defined subroutines, and no speech support. Trig, log, and def functions are not supported. Now you can use assembly language subroutines if they were actually compiled in the Wilhelm's compiler. And you also have to make your program where the variables are assigned individually. There is the 2.56 document located in your Classic 99. Thank you for watching.